Good afternoon, everyone. Connie Haynes, show for scale from Maxpedition today. We've got their fixed blade, and this is the short clip point. We've got the large, and we have the medium. First thing you'll see on both of them, nice clicky Kydex sheath, very nice and secure on the top, and we've got a really quite large uh, belt loop on there. And that can actually be taken off uh, if required, and you can mount it with a tech lock or any other kind of uh, mounting system that you wanted to. You could actually put like a, a molly lock on there as well if you wanted to. Um, very, very strong, so you can invert carry it if you need to. There we go. You'll be able to hear how strong that retention is on those sheaths. Put them out the way, and we actually have to see the short clip point. They do a long clip point, which obviously starts a lot longer back. But this is the large one. So if we go through the sizes on the large one, we're looking at 11 inches overall with a six and a quarter inch blade. On the back spine, we're looking at five millimeters thick. It is D2 tool steel. So you might see a catch in the light thinking, what's that finish? It's just packing grease, just oil to, uh, to keep it protected. Because D2 does corrode, but it gives you excellent edge retention and hardness. These are hardened to 5860 on Rockwell. These are your part serrated blades. Uh, the belly on this one, if we measure him across there on the widest, we are looking at three and a half centimeters on the belly. It's a full hidden tank construction handle, but you do have four tabs and two holes. So when, when they mold the handle actually around the base of the tank, you've got like say four fixings and two holes in there so there's no way that's going to slip or move off there at all. Uh, black polymer but it is nicely grooved and contoured for your fingers so you get a really nice grip and a nice balance on there. Nice deep finger groove acts as your finger choil and a slight incline on the top you can use as a thumb wrap. Alternatively pop your finger over, choke your blade right up and then you can get your thumb right up on the back spine then for more precise controlled work and it feels really really safe in your hand. So that's the large one and if we go to the medium one you'll be able to see exactly the same hand style of handle just a little bit shallower. Same you can choke the blade right up and dimensions on your medium one we are looking at overall uh, there we go we're looking at 10 inches and we've got a five and a half inch blade. Same, five millimeters thick, D2 tool steel. So you'll probably see just a packing grease catching a light on that. Part serrations once again, but you can quite nicely choke the blade right up, get a lot of control over there. The finish on the blade, we're looking at, it's fully flat ground from your back spine, and then right on the edge, they convexly grind it. So that gives you a lot of strength and edge retention on there as well. It's a bit more of a, a, a trickier process to do, but ultimately worth it for these kind of style of outdoor bushcraft, the survival knives. So if we click these back into their sheaths, you can hear really, really strong retention on there. So from Maxpedition, that's the short clip point D2 fixed blade. 